Hello. My name is Lost Prophet, and today, I'm going be telling you why you shouldn't use Tor on Windows, if you plan on surfing the deep web. Before we get into it though, I want to make this very clear. Tor on Windows, is completely fine if all you wish to use it for is anonymizing yourself on the web, and all you plan to do is usual browsing and simply leave no trace. It is not perfect, but if that is all you wish to do, then it should be absolutely fine. But anyway, let's get into the video. Reason number 1. The security of Windows. As you may or may not know, Windows is infamous for its amount of security flaws and vulnerabilities compared to other operating systems such as Linux or even Mac OS. Vulnerabilities and security flaws exist in these operating systems as well, but compared to Windows, they are virtually non-existent. According to Sino.com, there are more MS-DOS slash Windows viruses than all other types of viruses combined, by a large margin. Estimates of exactly how many there are vary widely and the number is constantly growing. In 1990, estimates ranged from 200 to 500, then in 1991 estimates ranged from 600 to 1000 different viruses. In late 1992, estimates were ranging from 1000 to 2300 viruses. In mid-1994, the numbers vary from 4500 to over 7500 viruses. In 1996 the number climbed over 10,000. 1998 saw 20,000 and 2000 topped 50,000. It's easy to say there are more now? Indeed, in April 2008, the BBC reported that Cement now claims that the security firm's antivirus programs detect to 1,122,311 viruses and that almost two-thirds of all malicious code threats currently detected were created during 2007. Why is there so much malware? The main reason why there is so much malware for Windows, is purely because of the amount of people using it. According to gs.statcounter.com, Windows makes up a total of 77.12% of the operating system market, which makes creating malware for any other operating systems apart from Windows, a waste of time as the majority of PC users use Windows, therefore malware creators and hackers have a very large target. If you want to browse the dark web, then I highly recommend either using a virtual machine, or booting to Tails. A virtual machine, in basic terms, is a program on a computer that works like it is a separate computer inside the main computer. To create virtual machines, you will need a certain piece of software called Virtualux which I will leave the link to in the description. VirtualBox is the best free virtual machine software. It is incredibly easy and simple to use once you get the hang of it. On this virtual machine, I recommend using an OS called Honix. It is a Linux distribution which is extremely secure and made to run on virtual machines. Simply download Honix from the website in the description, or simply search for it and download it. Open VirtualBox, click File, Import Appliance, and navigate to where the Honix file is and select it. I will leave a link in the description to a video by Switched to Linux on how to use and set up Honix, and you can feel free to give it a watch if you do not feel comfortable with setting it up. Tails, or the Amnesic Incognito Live system, is a security-focused Debian-based Linux distribution aimed at preserving privacy and anonymity. All its incoming and outgoing connections are forced to go through Tor, and any non-anonymous connections are blocked. To use Tails, you will need to boot from it directly. To do this, you will need to put Tails onto a USB stick. 
I recommend Baylino Etcher to do this as it is incredibly simple and easy to use. First off, download the Tails ISO from tails.boom.org. Open Baylino Etcher, click select image and select the Tails file you just downloaded. Then plug in your USB drive and click select target and then select your USB drive. Be sure to have selected the correct USB drive, as this completely wipes the drive clean, and makes the USB bootable. After that, select flash and then wait for Retcher to finish. After that, turn off your computer, turn it back on while spamming the button which gets you into your BIOS and boot menu, and boot from the USB. In conclusion of today's video, if you plan on browsing the deep web and using Tor, do not use Windows at all. If you plan on browsing the deep web, use either Tails, or use Honix on a virtual machine. If you made it this far in the video, I would like to thank you for sticking around and watching. If you liked it, please consider liking, and subscribing, as it very much helps the channel out. If you don't want to subscribe, then thank you for watching either way. Until the next one, have a good night.